Hey everyone, welcome back to Bucky's Customs. Hey, today I'm going to show you what this is. If you own a long mill, you probably already know what it is. But if you stick around, I'm going to show you how I use it and why. So stay tuned. We're going to attach our workpiece to the table like we would normally do. And I'm just doing this temporarily, obviously. But what I want to do is I want to show you the two ways that I use this uh, touch probe. Hey everyone, before we get started with today's project, I want to say thank you to this week's sponsor, CNC Labs the makers of the long mill benchtop CNC, just like the one we have here in our shop. If you're in the market for a CNC machine and you're not really sure what to get, go to their website, cnc.com, and check out this awesome machine. You'll be really happy you did. Now let's get back to our video. So basically what we're gonna do here is I've opened G Sender and we're going to I'm going to close this project and then uh, we're going to go down here to the touch probe and I'm going to show you how to do all three axes the X Y and the Z and I'm going to show you just how easy this is first thing I want to do is make sure my mills on and make sure I'm connected which I am now I'm going to unlock the machine and I'm going to hit home. Now it's already in the home position because that's usually what I do with it when I'm done. I send it back there and that gives me the table to work on. You all know I use it for a workbench. But uh, anyway, what I want to do is I want to probe this corner right here. So we're going to set the touch probe on it. You'll notice it's got little indentation 90 degree indentation I'm gonna set the touch probe on it and then I'm going to bring the mill up to it and on this you'll see a little CNC labs logo where you're gonna to need to put that bit so once you get it here get it close now I like to crank it down here it's just easier for me and go back to normal here and I'm gonna you want to line it up with that circle and I can be anywhere in that circle okay okay so I found it now really important you have to attach the magnet if you don't attach the magnet what's gonna happen is that bit's going to go into the touch block and keep going until you stop it or it just stops on its own or breaks the bit. Um, that's what will happen. Make sure that your wire is all the way in. Twist it around a little bit. Make sure you're getting good contact and then put it on your piece. Okay. Make sure your magnet's attached. Now you go over here to G Sender and you'll notice that when you go to your probing you can select Z, X, Y, and Z, X, Y, just X, just Y. It gives you a little picture of what that does. Now I'm going to do all three. So very important, you have to tell it what size bit you have because if you don't, it's not going to probe correctly. So what I've got in this mill right now is an eighth inch compression bit, which you can find at CNC Labs store. I'll leave a link to that below. You gotta try these compression bits. They are incredible to use. Let's see here. We're gonna go to 0.125, that's my eighth inch. And then once I have that done, basically everything's connected, you hit probe and then you have to make a connection this is a setting in G Sender you can select it and you won't have to do this 
or you can select it and you will have to connect it. I choose to connect it because if everything is correct, it will allow you to start and it'll say touch connect touch detected and then you hit your probe if nothing is if something is wrong it won't let you connect so I hit probe and the first thing it does is your Z it'll go down to the top of the block it'll lift up and then go back down then it'll do your Y or your X excuse me same thing now I'm going to show you, I'm going to share something with you. It didn't do the Y and it gave me an error in G Center. Now, the reason why I did that is because I'm too far forward. It won't go any farther forward because I'm past my limits. And I did that on purpose, okay? I wanted to make sure that you knew exactly what. I put a spacer block in here for and that's the reason I like to keep it back you can bring it up as close as you want but if this reaches its extents because of my limit switches it's gonna stop and it's not gonna complete the function so tip for you there if all of a sudden your mill stops and you're either right or left on the X or front to back on your Y might be a reason why or even your Z. Disconnect the mill. Reconnect the mill. Okay. Unlock. Let's do home. Okay. I have a piece of maple here that I like to use. And that gets me far enough ahead there. And then we'll just refasten it with um, our clamps here. All right, so now we'll put the touch block back on the piece of wood, and let's bring the mill back to the front. I'm pretty close. Okay, we'll do the normal, and give it a jog back. And we'll do some precise here. I wanna make sure that I'm in the circle. Now, you want to make sure you're like a quarter of an inch, half inch above your touch plate for your Z because it'll time itself out if it's got to go too far. So that's what we're going to do there. We're all set to go. I'm going to connect my magnet once again. Make sure that my touch probe stays on the corner of the piece. And let's start the probing now right now we have to do connectivity okay we did it and hit start probe and like I said it's gonna go Z go down go back go down again and come back then it's gonna do your X there you go now it brings it around and does your Y And then it returns to the X and Y zero point. From that point, you can remove and load your file in the G Center and start your project because you've zeroed at all your points. Let's say, for example, I want to put the project in the center and then I'll trim around it with a table saw or, or a jigsaw or whatever, whatever I um, got to do there. You saw me do that I believe on this project. I selected center and then it was a little long on one side so I trimmed it up and you know there's, there's a lot of tricks to that you can do. But anyway we're gonna come over here and we're going to go back to the Y and bring this back a little bit. And we're going to bring the X over to the center. Now, at this point, what you need to do is you need to have a mark on your board. And if it's a square board, you just draw an X from corner to corner, and that's your center point. Now, 
however you need to find center of your project wherever you want to put it on this board that's what you need to mark on your board and that's where you need to put your bit just above it wherever that mark is and then what you need to do at that point is go up to G sender and zero your X and zero your Y at that point it tells G sender that that is your X and Y start point so what you need to do is make sure this is up and in this case what you do is we've put the the touch block on the corner flat side up now we're going to flip it over and we're going to slide it under the bit we're going to hook the magnet to it and then we're going to select just the Z axis it's already got the bit figured out we'll hit probe make sure you lift it up touch the bit set it back down in your workspace and do you start probe it goes down and it sets your Z height goes back up you pull this out put it in your handy little holder here there'll be a link to thingiverse on this one I really like this this holder it works out really well for me and that's it all of our spots are zeroed and from there you go to load file and start your project basically that's all I use the touch probe for that's that's really all it it gets used for for me what you have to remember is make sure that your magnet is attached to the collar on your router so that it gets connectivity make sure your wire plug is all the way in you'll notice that this has a hole on both sides so that you are able to move it around and put it put your wire on the opposite side so just make sure the connectivity is there and in G Center I would use the option to double check and make sure you're connected because you just never know you could pinch a wire and snap it off or whatever and then the next thing you know you're ruining a $30 bit and you slammed it into the top of your touch probe and broke it so not worth doing but uh, if you uh, if you have any questions leave me a comment below I'd be happy to try to answer any questions you might have and I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give the video a like and be safe out there